Hi, this is Joe Murphy with the Candy Council, and we have with us Christina McClung from Capital One. Capital One has participated in the Candidate Experience Award the last three years. They have won, and last year they won with highest distinctions. Christina, will you tell us a little bit about what Capital One has learned by participating in this great data gathering experience? Yeah, it's been a phenomenal experience to be a part of the Candy Awards these past three years. And what we've learned is to put ourselves in the shoes of the candidate and understand their feedback, what value we're able to provide by listening to them. And the transparency that's been created through the data has been transformative for our organization to not just see the results, but really implement a lot of the solutions that we've seen that have come forth from the candidate's mouths. That's great. Can you give us an example of one particular learning that you were really surprised of and then took action on it? Yeah, sure. We, we've, we've been very surprised with the amount of influence and personalization they want to have in the process. And so for us, the big transformation that we put in place was personalizing the experience for each and every candidate, making certain that we were letting them know and communicating throughout the process where they stand, how long it would take to get back to them and our expectations for the length of the process. And so communicating that to them has helped us as an organization be more transparent with our intentions. Yeah. And then of course, we've made a lot of changes through training to ensure that the recruiters understand the baseline expectations for how to serve the candidate. The other big transformation was we went through a bit of a debate to discuss who is our primary customer. Is it the hiring manager? Is it the candidate? And for us, we ultimately declared that the candidate is our primary customer. So because of that, we're able to make decisions in a way that empowers our recruiters to put the candidate first. Wow. That's a great insight. It's a very tough debate because truly you serve two customers in this situation because the hiring manager still has to be happy with the individual that gets offered the job. But the candidate has the opportunity to create a viral experience for you, positive or negative, based on the experience. Do you have any insight into how you're actually improving the positive reaction for the candidate? Yeah, I think for us, a lot of it comes down to wanting them to ensure that they've had a chance to take a stand and get up to bat mm -hmm. um, throughout the interview process. So we're really spending time serving them each time we've dispositioned or gotten to a decision within our process, asking them their opinion. And then one of the things that we're doing, which is, is pretty transformative, is a program called You Matter, which is spending time um, understanding if they've got an, an area in their life where we should be congratulating them or a hardship, whether they're an active candidate or a passive candidate, letting the recruiters tell them that we care. And so we're doing quite a bit with um, sending them flowers or a gift basket or something at their house, no matter where they're active or inactive, to tell them that they matter. And then we're also taking their feedback on a monthly basis and putting it into um, through social media, saying, we heard you, we've listened, and here's what we're doing about it. Wow, that's really great. Personalized touches. Yeah. Applicants are looking for an opportunity to know that they've been hurt. And one of the things that we found from the research is that opportunity to perform, to present their capabilities is really critical for them. And so some of the things you're doing by training the recruiters to really draw out that capability sounds like it's having a positive impact. Definitely. So what are you looking forward to for the 2015 program? For 2015, you know, one, I think it's participating in the Candy Awards again, Re taking a look at the feedback. I would encourage anybody to participate in the Candy Awards because we're only as good as the data that we have as an organization. So getting more and more people to participate ultimately enhances our ability to benchmark against other industries, yeah. segment against other companies. Um, and you know that's something that's really valuable. For 2015, for Capital One, we're looking to take it to the next level. And for, for, for us, that really means spending time as we continue to grow and develop and bring in more people, ensure the, the experience is consistent. So as we've scaled to over 400 recruiters across the company, it's very imperative that no matter where you're representing us, that each candidate has the same opportunity and personalization of their experience. So training, um, understanding our sales strategy, and then, of course, ensuring that the hiring manager is a big component of that process.
So each touch point is going to be critical for us down to the job description all the way through each person that's interacting along the process. So we're going to reinvent what it means for it to be personal and then also continue to transform through the feedback we receive. Wow. You really have a very thoughtful and strategic initiative going. We wish you great success. Thanks for being part of the process. Thank you.